All right, Nabil, Nilufa, I'm the luckiest man alive. I'm here with the cast from The Huntsman. General question first, what's this film about from both of you? Well, you know, epic sort of fantasy, bit of a bit of a throwback to, you know, a lot of the films that, <clears throat> that we grew up on, you know, there's this kind of, kind of genre. For uh, Jessica, and when you got that role, knowing that it was a successful movie, how was that for you? Well, I didn't feel like I was carrying anything because the movie's called The Huntsman. So <laughs> everything was on this guy's shoulder. On my shoulders, yeah. <laughs> you get to see, like when you watch the two films together, you get to see what happens when you have love in your life. This is the second Queen Ravina for you. Yes. Would you call this a prequel or a sequel? It's a little bit of both. I know okay. that sounds very unusual. Yeah. It took me a while to kind of get my mouth around that too. It starts off as a prequel before the story of Snow White, oh. and um, and then it kind of becomes a prequel, a, a sequel from after the, 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 the world of Snow White. So when they revived uh, the Queen Ravina, how happy were you that you were back? I was shocked. I couldn't believe it because the producer kept kind of telling me, you know, through the years, like, we're gonna do it. And I was like, why are you talking to me? I died. Yeah, like, exactly. why are we having this conversation? <laughs> so when they called and they sent me the script and I saw that, what a great job they did to kind of bring her back in a, not a contrived way, I was really touched. I was really moved by that. I really didn't, they didn't have to do that. Sometimes I try and be positive and look at the good and evil, right? If there's anything at all that the viewers can learn from the evil of Queen Ravina, what would it be? Yeah, I feel like, you know, as people, you want to kind of find some kind of empathy, just understanding, not necessarily sympathy, but just an understanding of why somebody is who they are. What is love to you? Love is many things, you know, love is many things. I am, I am very, I'm one of those people, I spend a lot of time kind of grateful for all the different loves that I have, you know, in my life. I've missed you.